I want to let all right. So I want to let you know what's on my mind now. <clears throat> excuse me. Now, the MLB All-Star Game is coming up next week. And we're going to have a lot of great players partic participating in such events as the Home Run Derby that's coming up this Monday. A lot of talented ball players, pitchers, catchers, infield, outfield, right field, left field, center field. But I've noticed something. The MLB has done a terrible job of marketing is sport and is superstars. Back in the 90s, man, the MLB was on point when it came to marketing, especially in the mid-90s when Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa were battling it out for the home run record to see who was going to be the leader in home runs. Of course, Mark McGuire ultimately won it. You know, Barry Bonds doing his thing. Of course, we had the Yankees dynasty during that time boo <laughs> just play but but today the mlb has done a terrible job of marketing its players it seems like if these players don't play in major cities such as new york la chicago san francisco etc they don't really get the shine they don't get all the made a lot of the national tv games Matter of fact, this was a few years ago, and I'm a Cleveland Guardians fan. I was listening to an interview on 92.3 The Fan, which is the one of the local sports radio stations here in Cleveland, and the host was interviewing this MLB writer, and he was just, you know, praising Jose Ramirez, the third baseman for the Cleveland Guardians, who's been a multiple all-star, and he was voting, voting for him. Matter of fact, this was around all-star time, and he was voting for him, and the writer next to him said, I don't even know who Jose Ramirez is. Now, that's ass, That's crazy. Here's a guy who's been putting up numbers, who's been a multiple all-star. Most of his, well, the last few years has been an MVP candidate, and you sit up and say you don't know who he is? That's a bad job by the MLB for not marketing their stars. And also for not marketing their sport better. One thing I give the NBA and the NFL a lot of credit for, they really know how to market their stars, their league, and also they have a major social media presence. I look at the MLB, they don't have a major social media presence like the NFL and NBA do. Matter of fact, even the college football, even the college football playoffs has more of a social media presence than the MLB. That's another, that's another main reason why the MLB lags behind. They don't know how, they don't know how to market their superstars and they doggone sure not, not a social media presence. That's the main two things that's holding the MLB back from getting a lot of people interested in it again, especially younger fans. A lot of young fans back in the day watched the MLB like crazy. Today, you really can't get a lot of young fans to watch a game whether it is at home or in person because the MLB they've done a terrible job of marketing as superstars and not really selling the sport to younger viewers to make it more attractive that's one thing you got to give the NFL and the MLB I mean the NBA a lot of credit for they've done a great they've done a pretty good job of really pushing their stars marketing their league and also making it interesting and exciting for younger viewers. Because look at the NFL. No matter what city you play in, you're a superstar. Look at um, Pat Mahomes. He plays in a mid-market like Kansas City. And that man is almost on every doggone commercial. Same with Aaron Rodgers. He played in Green Bay the majority of his career. Major superstar. Even to a certain extent, it's starting to be that way in the NBA. I mean, it's not where it needs to be, but at least it's starting to change a little bit. Because back then, you really did need a bigger market to really push yourself out there. Look at LeBron. LeBron, no matter where he goes, he's going to transcend the market. He did that with the Cavs, you know, his 11 years when he was here. 
he definitely transcended that market. Same with Shaq in Orlando. Orlando, you know, they were a young team, a young franchise about a few years in. They had some bad seasons. And as soon as Shaq got drafted, bam, automatically transcended that team and that market. Same with KD and Westbrook and OKC. Same with Giannis in Milwaukee. Same with John Morant right now in Memphis. You know, despite the fact they play in these mid to small markets, they're always going to have the sh they're always going to have the shine. They're always going to be on national TV. Heck, look at Victor Wayne Binyamba. He's definitely going to transcend the market in that in San Antonio. So if the MLB really wants to catch up with the NBA and the NFL, they got to do a better job of marketing its superstars, no matter what city they play in, also be more of a social media presence and draw in the young fans. Because that's how you really get a lot of people to watch your product. If you don't do that, then you're going to have the same problems that you're having now. Listen up, sports fans. Your favorite sports book, BetUS.com, is back for our 28th year of NFL action. With the industry's biggest sign-up bonus of up to 200%, BetUS offers our members the opportunity to cash in on all your favorite sports, including NFL, NBA, MLB, and more. We've also got hundreds of new casino games, including the coolest new European slots, and our live dealers are waiting for you at the table. Sign up at BetUS.com today to get into the action. BetUS, where the game begins.